One more, one more. I'm trying to be clean. One, two. with juxtaposition and we are back with Doug Orr and this time we are going to talk about the Aberdeen Art Center located here in Grays Harbor. Hey Doug how are you doing so far? Great. So tell us about the Aberdeen Art Center. I mean I when I moved here in 2011 there wasn't an Aberdeen Art Center. There wasn't really much for art if anything. So tell us, like, how did you um, come up with the concept and, and how did you find this building? Well, okay, the building, finding the building was, mm -hmm. I, you know, I ran an art center in California mm -hmm. and I wanted to replicate the process somewhere else, not mm -hmm. necessarily here, but somewhere else that was affordable. And we had a house, we were going to sell it and we we're going to use that money to buy a building that I could make a living in, right? you know, and live in. Yeah. So... So we bought, so I started down there in California and I worked my way up the, up the coastline mm -hmm. and believe it or not, I couldn't afford anything anywhere else. <laughs> <laughs> and I get to Aberdeen and it's like, look at all this repossessions and right. red dots everywhere. And it's like, well, right. I can afford some here. <laughs> so I got, I, I saw this building and, and I saw the price of it and I'm like, I, I could afford that. So right. I came and looked at it. And uh, after some research, I decided that was a pretty good deal to move here. You know, the yeah. building was in real, uh, almost tear down when we bought it. Right. And it was really sad. The roof was leaking like a sieve. The whole wow. second floor had plastic stretched out going into buckets and the wow. plaster coming down. And uh, it was wow. really, really in bad shape. Yeah. And the, the Eagles that had uh, originally built the building in 1908. Oh, wow. And, uh, had, and that's the Eagles know, organization. Yeah, and yeah. now they're defunct. The, 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 at least the Aberdeen, you know, it's an inter, or it's an international organization yeah. now. But it was founded pretty close to here. One story says it started in this building, oh. not in the building, but here in Aberdeen, and then they eventually built this building. Another okay. story says that it started in Seattle, uh, but at the time it, in the 18, uh, 1889, mm -hmm. when the uh, when the Eagles were incorporated here. Right. Uh, Aberdeen was a growing city, expected mm -hmm. to be right up there with Seattle or Tacoma. Right. It was also in line for state capital. And and then all of that stuff kind of mm -hmm. fell through, and Aberdeen kind of stayed its little self. And <laughs> Seattle, of course, it's going and grew, grew immensely. Yeah. Anyway, so uh, it's a beautiful old building, and the Eagles tore every spark of life out of it, you know, like gutted it <laughs> before they left. <laughs> it once had a big turret and was known as, it was really? called the... Uh, Aberdeen Lighthouse because it was the tallest building in the city and the tour had these massive stained glass windows on either side or four sides with wow. eagles on them and it was lit so you could see it everywhere yeah it was, wow. it was a pretty cool thing anyway so now that eventually they moved out of this building and moved into the next door they bought the building next door and then they bought the building next door and then they sealed up this building and just <laughs> left it as an yeah. old dinosaur it was empty for almost 10 years before we got it <laughs> Oh, wow. Yeah. And it would have been torn down. It was in really, you know, even everybody tried to discourage me. from. I'm sure there's a calamity <laughs> of money waiting to happen here. <laughs> a calamity of money waiting well, to we, happen. We put like 150000 I think at this point now we're about 300000 into the building and improvements. And, mm -hmm. and uh, it seems like a, a lot, but, you know, our building... Uh, it, it was valued at 135. I guess we're we're closer to six or in that yeah. that range now, and not that anybody would buy it. But uh, so a gallery was a, a definite must, and then that's not enough to survive off of. Right. So the building had to be self-sustaining, self-supporting. <laughs> so the goal was to build smaller spaces out right. of the the unit and still have some large, like this gallery. <laughs> Uh, large spaces to do art, to show art, but then other art 
um, associated businesses. Mm -hmm. Like we have a frame shop in here. Okay. Yeah. And we have another gallery in here. We have um, a conference room that's, mm -hmm. that's free to use for nonprofits as mm -hmm. long as you, and if you're a tenant in the building, you can use it also for free. You just have to mm -hmm. make sure it fits the schedule. Right. Uh, we have a classroom that rents out for $35 an hour. Mm -hmm. uh, four hour max and then, I mean, you can have it for the whole day when you pay the four hours max. Mm -hmm. um, and we also, like right now, there are artists using the classroom as their studio spaces because some of their buildings, oh, cool. uh, some of them from uh, Emerson Manor is being remodeled. So those artists are here using our studio space. Um, we have a common area that we have demonstrations in all the time, mm -hmm. uh, meetings, Harbor Art Guild, this is their home. They don't have a permanent address any longer. They originally had a gallery here, but uh, decided that wasn't uh, gonna continue. Our Aberdeen, uh, which is a, a huge motivator and mover on the Harbor for art. Uh, they meet here also, and I'm on their board also. I'm on a whole bunch of boards. <laughs> Anyway, yeah, so like our Aberdeen, you think about all the murals in Aberdeen that are up right now. Our Aberdeen is the one that, um, other than the ones that I've, yeah. you know, uh, done myself and financed and, or found the money to do. Right. The rest are all done by our Aberdeen. They raise oh, excellent. The money, they write the grants for the money. They find the artists and then pay the artists to do it. So, mm -hmm. um, so they do that. They restore the, the Gramellius mm -hmm. critters that are uh, downtown, mm -hmm. these wonderful... Uh, little artsy critters that are downtown there working on having a trail that uh, a bicycle walking trail from Yelm to Westport and Grayland. It'll it'll junction here in Aberdeen. Wow. And it's maybe 60% uh, uh, done right now. They're That's working on impressive. Yeah. Incredible. Yeah. Um, we have some impressive people on our board, mm -hmm. you know, the president of the college and the, uh, uh, um, let's see, the Newport commissioner. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's just a lot of oh, cool. a lot of influential people on our, our uh, committee. So that shows that uh, that there is a lot of desire in the community for art, and that there yeah. are a large portion of, of the upper crust people with money in this town that realize mm -hmm. that art. This is our golden egg. Yeah. This is what's going to spur the growth of our downtown. You can't get IKEA. I mean. We can't get these big name stores to come right. downtown, but right. if we fill it up with galleries and there were people, mm -hmm. you know, before you know it, there'll be Starbucks downtown and they'll yeah. be, you know, a good indicator of, of an area moving up. Uh, anyway, so uh, so yeah. what the first thing we realized was that there is no opportunity in Grace Harbor mm -hmm. for artists. Uh, yeah. You could show at two galleries out at Ocean mm -hmm. Shore. Uh, Think there's anything else right you know so yeah. uh, you can there's a you can belong there are four art organizations mm -hmm. on the harbor I belong to all four of them mm -hmm. and um, not really interacting very much with mm -hmm. each other yeah and uh, South Coast uh, North Beach mm -hmm. I mean there's just it's bizarre but they all <laughs> do their own little thing mm -hmm. and very seldom they come together mm -hmm. so having a place where they could come together, a website where they could find information out about shows yeah. and events, um, a place they could meet artists and talk about future things and plan about how we can make this a better art community. Um, that was just all part of the plan. A classroom that's mm -hmm. inexpensive, less than the college, you yeah. know, uh, to teach art. Um, and it's all kind of fallen into place, you know, so... Right. So this is, Aberdeen Art Center is truly the nexus of arts in Grace Harbor I think in many is, ways. And, you know, uh, it has mm -hmm. been a coming together of the artists. Mm -hmm. And, you know, a lot of them came together in the first place, mm -hmm. but not all of them. Right. And if you wanted to, you know, an old piece, an old painting restored, where would you have gone before? Mm -hmm. um, so I do that. So I've been restoring old paint. I do yeah. whatever it takes. <laughs> <laughs> to pay the bills and keep my vision going. One more, one more. I'm trying to be clean. One, two.